<laughs> All righty. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the How Diaries podcast, the best podcast in Bacall City, a very well known fact and backed up by statistics. My name is Tris, and our podcast aims to entertain you guys with high quality audio content, mainly about the Bacall lifestyle to keep you cultured and in the know. So I suggest you tune in. Before we start, we'd like to ask you to leave a like, follow, subscribe, and maybe share the podcast if you think it's good. You can watch it with video on YouTube. Turn on the post notification bell to get updates. And for audio only, you can listen to it on Spotify, Buzzsprout, and Reason.fm. All the links and handles will be in the description below. So, so what did you do while I was doing that intro? <laughs> I was just staring at the screen. They're like, what's the four button there? Oh, there's just two people. <laughs> A lot of things. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is my beloved cousin, Leonardo Jose Linga. That's, that's right. It's Linga, not Linga. By the way, for everyone who's watching and getting our last name wrong. Yeah, Linga. Say, it's Linga. And if you say Linga, you're basic. Yeah, basic. Yeah, you're freaking, you're freaking basic. Every graduation I've been to, every graduation I've been to, it's Linga, and I hate it. And my dad just, my dad just freaking does the stand up and clap and like. <laughs> that's not a last name. That, that's not a last name, bro. <laughs> Isn't it weird that they always get Kalinga right, but when it's ours, like Linga, is some people prob- can get. I, but, know, I know, I know. It's it, they. They're saying that it's one G. It's one G. That's why they're saying it as linga instead of linga. With it's supposed to have a double G. But y'all don't get it, dude. Why do you say kalinga, kalinga, and not wait? What? Kalinga. <laughs> kalinga. Uh, can, oh shit! <laughs> some people can get kalinga right, but not linga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way. This is LJ. Again, he's my cousin and we haven't seen each other for like seven freaking... This is the first time we've actually seen each other and like it's virtual and uh, I wish I could... Hug me, brother. Have you seen Drake and Josh reference? Like, <laughs> hug me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely would hug you. But yeah. Virtual. <laughs> we, could actually, we could actually be brothers like if you think about it. If you, you know, because... Look at that. Yeah, we, we kind of look the same. I don't know. Oh, you you're gonna go, you're gonna go for the forehead, huh? <laughs> you're gonna go for the forehead. Because well, no, no, you don't have bangs right now. How how the, I how don't the hell do are, bangs like, because I'm gonna get breakout. But if you're gonna I do guess, bro- I guess. Well, if you're gonna do brothers, I mean, I'm clearly ebony and you're ivory. <laughs> In this lighting. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. 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 Well, I guess you have the gray the gray background and it's aesthetic and shit. So. You're winning on that Mm -hmm. aspect. (laughs) Thanks. So how have you been? Like (laughs) how have you been? How how's how's the lockdown? How how has the lockdown been treating you? Uh it's been I have to say roller coaster. Like I've been having so much fun in the first few months in the office, you know, getting my adult life, getting paid, buying the shit that I want. And then you're stuck in the four walls, you know. And I'm doing yeah. all of the work and playing just in the room. I don't know if you can relate also, like, you're stressed because your environment is just this room. You can't even separate the work and life. Sometimes you're like, oh, play, but also work. <laughs> the deadlines. <laughs> yeah. Dude, 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 literally, I felt, that, I know, because I work from home. Uh, I actually just went back to the office, if you didn't know. I worked mm-hmm. from home for, like, uh, a, year uh, a year before going back to the office yeah, just last month. month. And I feel the same I way. way. I, wake I wake up, up I see my computer, computer, I just want to smash it and stuff. It's like, it's going to be work the whole day. And you know how you go home and you feel like, ah, oh, this is my comfort zone. Like, I get to play games, watch TV. I get that air con on and like get music playing and just do whatever the heck you want. Even strip naked, it's fine. It's your house. But then... It feels so weird when you're working in your own room, especially because what, 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 where's the line? Where's the line drawn to like think that this is my comfort zone and this is the place, this is hell? Because, like, not, not, no offense to my workplace, but like, I guess every workplace kind of feels like hell in terms of just like, you know. You know how you know how adults are. We think yeah, work definitely. is definitely, <laughs> especially, especially if it's not your passion project or like it's nothing. Of that, that, of that, that uh, uh, of that area, area. It's, just it's just plain work, work that you're forced to do just to pay the bills, and, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell on earth. 
<laughs> yeah, my friends always, uh, my co-workers actually said that we're, ano, in Tagalog, alapin sa salapi. So we're just cogs, basically, in their whole machination. So like, as long as you're able, able to deliver it, that's fine, unless you speak yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean ev- even if like the work environment is pretty good, you still, you just feel like it's somewhere, it's, that's why it's called like the professional world, because like, it's where you become another kind of person the the the, the adult Tristam, the adult lj rather than when you're at home you can just be a kid or an adult or a grandpa if you want to and everything hurts now it's like we're getting to that age <laughs> i could totally agree with that part i mean basically we're in the office about otd otd is yeah, yeah. like you know, um what kind of tito will I be? You know, tambay. <laughs> what kind of tito will I be? Sandolang? <laughs> Shirtless? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Speak, speaking on that, I, do, I just want a little poll on the, on the uh, video here. Because me and LJ, um, we're close in age, but I won't say who's older. So comment down below, who do you think is older between the both of us? Because like... <laughs> But Could they <laughs> tell? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm actually generally curious to know because, like, we're we're practically near the, we're near an age, right? Uh, in yeah. in our whole family tree, I mean, the both of us are actually um, born in the same year. Am I right? Or I think so. You're just like yeah, yeah, yeah. some months, you know. Yeah, some months, yeah, some months, some months apart. So let's see, oh, let's see, let's see who, let's see who, who do you think is older, guys? Just comment down below. It's it's fun because we're cousins, so no one's gonna get offended, I guess. Are you sure? <laughs> I'll sue my, saw... my products. <laughs> I'm, if I'm older. <laughs> You're right. I'll sue a bitch. <laughs> I just put on some moisturizer a while ago, so I'm feeling fresh. So, like, guys, if you think I'm older, y'all, so, someone's going to hear from me. Shout, Myra E., you're going to hear from me. <laughs> Mine is just a Korean product, so I don't even know how to pronounce it. So, pop off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chincha, chincha. I don't, know, I, don't I, I don't I don't I don't want to speak Korean, Korean here because, like, like, they're, they're all going to bash me. <laughs> Imagine oh. my Korean with an Elongo accent. <laughs> oh, I want to hear, though. Do it. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> Wait, what, do you know how those main characters in like um uh Korean dramas, you know, sound uh, okay, really? Drama? I do watch K drama. Do you watch uh-huh. K drama? Uh, yeah, so like uh, I know, I know, but but do you know how like they 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 really sound so out of this out of this world type of handsome, like with a nice voice, and like yeah, you know how they they romanticize. A lot on K dramas, right? No, like, yeah. Th- that that's why, uh, in terms of just like a heteros- heterosexual thing, like, uh, okay. <laughs> girls are now, you know, having such a high standard for men. The girls who watch K drama because how they're they're being portrayed in you know the dramas, especially with Korean culture, that's super formal and gentleman like in a way. Uh-huh. Just kind of raises the standards. Like, okay, you wanted to hear my impression, right? I just kind of. No, it's fine. <laughs> Pop off this. <laughs> Go. <laughs> like, are we talking about me... physical or just also the personality? Because it's the like person... sometimes twin hand, hand right? Uh, both, 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 both. both. You, know, you know, the physical, the physical like they're like, always so always clean looking. looking. Even, Even if they, they just, just took a shower, their hair is super <laughs> on point. Like the clothes are aesthetic. Especially how they edit the K dramas, the colors, everything just looks so good. The color grading, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the color grading. And like the guys just look, you know, so clean and you know, so aesthetic. And I, I kind of want to be like that too. And it, it, Filipinos, we can't achieve it so hot here. No, I mean, <laughs> you really achieved it from the last time I visited you and your products. I think it was. I forgot the products that you often use, but Tita recommended that. I forgot. Ponds? Ponds. Ponds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually keep, I, I'm still using Ponds because it suits my skin. I mean, it doesn't give me breakouts, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I haven't I had a breakout it. for like, you know, a long time. <laughs> I, I uh, do get pimples though sometimes like, uh, but just one, one pimple and that's pretty obvious i hate it you know <laughs> it's not just like little pimples all clustered together it's just one pimple that's very visible on my face for a certain amount of time it sucks <laughs> i bet it's on brand i mean you're a wolf i guess lone wolf pimple 
just single. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I take pictures, I'm just gonna put a logo on my pimple. <laughs> How pH on that bitch? Yeah. <laughs> <Very Right. bad. laughs> oh, 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 oh! The Korean thing. The Korean. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I was, I was actually DMing this girl uh, last, last night because okay. no, she told me, she told me, um, she told me that she's learning Korean. And I was like, "What, really? I watch K dramas and stuff." Of course, that doesn't warrant me being great at Korean because I watch K dramas. But of course, I know a few words, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, "You, you want to hear my Korean, <laughs> Korean words, girl?" And she was like, "Okay, shoot, man." <laughs> I was like, "I don't see Like, I don't see Guys, if you're listening to this and it sounds great, please comment down below. I, I feel so embarrassed right now. It's like, I know I'm I mean, you can kind of get see the, the accent that you're talking about. It's yeah, like, I, I, I know. So it sucks. So I didn't get the the plus points I wanted for that girl. It's like, what the fuck is that, man? Why did you even try? I'm a voice actor. I have to try. I have to. <laughs> Yeah, wide variety of voices. God, I know accents, yeah. languages. Yeah, yeah. The, works. the works. <laughs> okay. So I have, are you prepared though that you're in some games that you have to just literally run in pain? <laughs> I, I haven't. I haven't done gaming scripts yet. It's more of like um, YouTube narrations for like top ten, top ten business ideas in the business world kind of like that type oh. of stuff but i do i do really want to be a game character someday <laughs> wait main Imagine... character no no a, a, a game character like in uh let's say mobile legends i want to be the voice of like oh. one of the yeah 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 one yeah. of the i know okay the in, in game characters yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine of that of course they're like... going to grant I mean, I would imagine it when they came to grant. For the for for the tribe, you know, like, like you're like a freaking you're like a freaking orc or something. Wow, that I mean, was like what? ten. That was like ten topics in five minutes. <laughs> Do you know the, the term speed speed run? <laughs> Just speed run. I'm like the whole. <laughs> I mean, From there's... Korean to skin products to voice <laughs> acting, then games, <laughs> then one character. Games. This this just kind of brings me back to the point of how fun it is actually being with cousins, right? They're your first best friends. I mean, from what I read and what I've heard from everywhere, you're like the, you're you're forced to be friends. You're cousins. You're, you're literally you're literally just you're you're literally brothers from another father and mother mother that that are also related related. by blood blood. you know know? i didn't i didn't i didn't explain that right (laughs) no i i think they kind of get it wait i do remember i know when you mentioned it is it okay to uh tell a story back when we the four of us were like really close but we're really really small yeah go ahead ahead. it's it's a podcast you can say anything Okay. <laughs> I hope either Kyle or Chriselle would penalize me with telling the story. Um, well, so I it's, think it's, it's your it's your funeral, man. I'm still <laughs> gonna be. I'm still gonna be. Here. Wait, no, it's my funeral. I'm here. You're not here. I'm gonna be the one. There. Oh, by the way, LJ is in Manila, and I'm in Bacolod, so that's that's why we haven't seen each other for so long. Yeah, <laughs> like legit. I haven't. I mean, I usually go there like uh, every year, but when I was in college, I wasn't able to, mainly because of my um, org, but I'll have to go back. If we do go tackle that shit, <laughs> I'll just have to go back to the cousin story Definitely. thing. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Go go, go to the story thing. Go to the story thing. Go to story um, okay, so I remember, I don't know which tita I said, uh, which one of our relatives would recall recount the story. So we were so, the four of us would usually be so close. We would always uh, sleep over at Tita Diting's uh, house area. Shout out so, Tita Diting, yeah. Yeah, yeah hello. <laughs> and we love and you. Was, there were always times that, I know, we would take a bath, the four of us together. And the, oh, the funny thing about it is that we're just like snakes. We just leave clothes in the trail. <laughs> Papunta dun sa CR. Do you remember the CR? Do you remember the CR? Do you remember the CR? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember the CR. Meron tayo ng clothes doon. Kasama si Tinde Crisel. I don't even... I don't even no. remember the. Tra- I, I remember the showering part and the CR part, but I, this is why I hate my memory sometimes of my childhood. Because like, I remember certain. You know how you just remember fragments, like the most important 
areas of it, but like the, the small details, you just kind of, eh, it's not anymore. Just, you just remember showering together, essentially. Yeah. And have, I even have a picture, I think. I, I think it's here in the house, but like, yeah, I think we, <laughs> we do. Have, probably has a picture. <laughs> Dita Dieting probably has the picture, of course. <laughs> She's the one there with us. Like, picture yeah, in the CR, the... but not the trail. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The trail, dang, really? Oh, we're messy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's the aesthetic that we went to go for, you know? Like, let's make a snake uh, playing games uh, like in Nokia. <laughs> Shout out to the old snake in Nokia. <laughs> uh, I bet everyone in our age group probably oh, has God, played the snake man. game in their Nokia cell phones. <laughs> I'm, I kind of miss it, the old times. Like, mm-hmm. like we're, we're definitely going to talk more of the old times here because we're rekindling our cousinship, as I've just said, like for the past two days now, trying to tell LJ to come into my podcast. <laughs> come on, come on to my podcast. Let's rekindle our cousinship. <laughs> if that's even a term. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone will seem to get it. I mean, guys, if you have cousins that you haven't seen for so long, try and hit them up again. It, you're probably going to have a great time trying to reminisce and remember the shitty things you did as children. Because back, back to the thing that I said about, like, your cousins are literally your best friends. Actually, I think Chris, Chriselle, one of our cousins, um, sent this to me that... You're literally best, best friends because you're, you're you're just forced, forced to be together, together. <laughs> when you were younger. You you don't really get to just meet these guys. You're just oh here's your cousin, go have at it. You know have at it. <laughs> go 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 interact, interact. <laughs> make bonds and stuff. I don't know. Our parents playing Sims. <laughs> I know social connections. <laughs> And I, I, I bet, like, I bet, of, like, like, if I were in their shoes, and like, I've, I have kids, and maybe you have kids in the future, I'm just gonna like, hey, look at my kid, <laughs> like me, right? <laughs> when we were younger, they're probably just like, ah, that, that looks like us, and it's, it's just both of us looking at a stick or something. <laughs> what a stick? I don't know anything. God damn it! Stick. <laughs> really? God damn it, bro! <laughs> Now, now I know. Now I know where I get my green mind from. This bloodline, this freaking bloodline. What? Oh, are you gonna put? Are you gonna? Be, no, don't put it on me. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, they, they still have to guess who's older. <laughs> They're probably gonna get it. Like you're probably gonna know in the end of the episode because I'm gonna reveal it. But like, yeah, try to guess in the first part who's older between the both of us. If it's your subject, say. <laughs> Man, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of weird too. That's kind of weird too. Cause like, uh, you went here in Bacolod and you mm-hmm. call me Mano, right? You don't usually say that in Manila, right? In no, terms of don't. like cousins, yeah. You, you say kuya, kuya. Yeah, just kuya. Wait, it sounds so bad saying kuya, kuya. <laughs> I do- kuya. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I have, I have yeah, such a terrible. Uh, <laughs> Tagalog uh, accent Tagalog or Filipino accent, accent, whatever you call it. Whatever it. I don't know why. I actually banked on LJ. I actually banked on LJ before when I was uh, still in elementary or high school. When he comes to visit, I'm like, oh, man, it's my chance to practice my Tagalog at least. And, like, learn something. Because, like, in school, you just have that uh, Filipino class. Not really, you know, it doesn't really help out. But, like, when you're really talking to someone from Manila, of course, I mean, in our perspective as Bacolod nuns, you kind of get to... Uh, you know, uh, absorb how you guys talk and, of course, try to imitate it and, and say it back. But with me, unlike any other person here, I just can't seem to get the right tone. And <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, there was this one. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. Sorry. I was going to say, I know. Uh, at one point, we flipped the, the script, remember? I have to learn Ilongo, and you guys have to completely talk in Ilongo. I'm just like, ah, huh, okay. What's, what does that mean? <laughs> That's so mean, though. <laughs> he, 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 do you still remember some uh, Hiligaynon you know, or Ilongo words from your visits here? Well, your dad's from here, so he probably has. Oh my he god, you mentioned you my dad. Words. Remember that time that we practiced me pretending to be my dad in, ano, in Nana's ano, birthday? Do you remember that? It's like I had to say nandito na ako nai in ano, Ilonggo to pretend that I am my dad because I the joke is I look like my dad but darker. Did we do that? At, 
even yeah, oh and you were God. the host. You were the host of that. Remember, you had the a phase, guys. He he had the phase that he wanted to host literally every family reunion. Like the 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 and the our titas were like, let's just give it to the younger generation to um put the party together. We'll just pay for it. Do the do the whole program for your lo- or <laughs> nana and tata. <laughs> and there goes Manuel Tam Tam doing the host. It's like, hey, 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 I know, uh, LJ, would it be great if you pretended to be like your dad because you're the only one here? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and uh, oh, I yeah, because you, went, you, you, you went here without him that time. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, now, 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 now it now makes sense in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Did you do a good job at these? The host doesn't freaking remember. No, <laughs> was it I didn't. Pay for it at all? <laughs> I did. I remember when I said that. I forgot the words. Okay, I forgot it. But I do remember. Like everyone's like, what? <laughs> they just stare at me. Like, no, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. At least, at least you did something. If I were there, I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna speak in English the whole time until they're they're gonna ask. Where, where did you grow up? Aren't you from the Philippines? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> watch my Tagalog accent and you'll find out that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's... Oh, yeah, there is... I don't know Tagalog doesn't really have an accent. It's more of you guys, of the Visay, I know, the ones in provinces who had an accent. Because usually when it's Pinoy, we don't really have, like, accent. That's why the Americans, or I mean, the the people outside or abroad prefer us. Ah. We don't have accents generally. Ah, right, right, right. I'm sorry. I think I used the Is wrong it? term. Uh, just the whole... Have you said it right? <laughs> I, I guess you have a point. You have a point because we have different dialects and languages. The dialect, yeah, and, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. We have different dialects and languages, so lit- it's not actually an accent. But like maybe just how I speak the dialect, it's weird. Uh, what? what? Maybe not. Yes. No. Maybe. Is it like a variation of Konyo? <laughs> but make it yours. <laughs> <laughs> But 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 yeah but yeah I mean no no maybe maybe it's just from here ah oh, shit I just I just kind of realized the only yeah. people who bash me for my um I guess the way I speak Tagalog or Filipino uh-huh. are people from Bacolod <laughs> Ooh. maybe yeah yeah I mean I mean I've never had anyone from Manila actually say that hey you have a bad uh you know yeah. I can't say accent anymore because it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, bad... <laughs> yeah, bad way. Uh, you, you talk weird. I mean, maybe that. <laughs> you talk weird. <laughs> yeah, I remember I just, every I just... time we would speak that, I wouldn't like react to it. And it's like, oh, I understand you. I don't really care if it's a dialect or a tone. Ah. So I, I, I didn't oh, really yeah. understand when you said like people were bashing. Like, I don't remember that in our social bubble oh, okay oh, this is a different perspective then i actually just kind of no because i've always been um i've always been proclaiming this with everyone because like the most of my guests right now are from manila that means the past few guests ruth risa shout out to you guys thanks for coming on the podcast they're in manila right now they're from bacala but they're in manila right now working so so I've always been I've always telling been them telling that, them that uh, yeah, you could speak whatever you want, whatever you want. Or, or Tagalog, whatever you want. But like, I just won't. I, I'm just gonna just stick with English because <laughs> it's probably my strong suit right now. I can't, I can't really, because yeah, only people from Bacolod have been bash, not actually bashing, but like been criticizing my the way I speak in Tagalog. It, it just sounds weird for them. Maybe the, because they're trying to perfect. Uh, they're trying to perfect that. You know yeah. that the way you guys yeah, talk, you guys like talk, just like, the normal. Can I just say accent? Because like I, I, I don't. Yeah, sure. I for the lack of terms yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for the lack of for the lack of better verbiage, uh, the normal uh, Tagalog uh, accent. <laughs> yeah, because because some of them, if you won't, you wouldn't you wouldn't think that they're from Visayas if you know they speak in Tagalog because like they they got it nailed down. You know. Maybe because they have a lot of friends from there that they talk to. Because I don't. I, I guess I only have you. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> they're not even friends. We're cousins. But we have our friends. But like, <laughs> we're cousins. <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, ba- I barely have any Manila friends, uh, so to speak. So, 
I don't really, because I have a lot of friends from here that they tell me that, yeah, I'm a Manila fan, I'm a Manila fan. I don't have those guys. I don't have those. <laughs> Share me some of those. <laughs> no, I have you, but like we rarely talk, right? This is the first time in seven years that we've actually yeah. spoken to each other uh, rather than, because we chat, but like we don't yeah, we actually. Often chat. We often chat, but like we don't actually call each other. Uh, yeah, why is that? Yeah. But... Do you remember? I don't know. I, I mean, don't know. I think it's it's because we both got so busy in college, and then no, high school. It, it's so, it, Do you remember? Even in, no, because because we're just I guess in high school, what happens is like you come here and we just kind of like put push all the conversation at that one meetup and not talk okay. to each other for like a long time again, and then I don't know. It just I, I think it just became the dynamic. I guess why we just. I know that's what, that's what my brain is telling me. I <laughs> what do you differently. think? But it's going to sound mean, so I don't know if it's going to sound mean. Is it going to sound mean? You tell me. <laughs> go go okay. ahead. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, what I re- vaguely remember is like, as cousins, we were like very close. And then when I do go back and I try to talk, um, there was like a delayed response with, from you guys. But I guess we're, you guys had like some things at the time. So you just like when, oh when did you busy. when did you feel oh wait 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 what when you come back here or like when you chat us oh when I chat when I already arrived back in Makati ah oh yeah Man, we're probably just I I I, I personally think you guys are always busy. busy yeah I remember. I'm always busy <laughs> no because like, like, every time you come here <laughs> I I have I I do a lot of things I I mean most of my friends know like even now just a while ago yeah. um my friends called me. They were like, hey, we're at a cafe right now. I want to come through. And I'm like, okay, I have to do work. I have to do a podcast, which I love so much, by the way. Everyone who's here, subscribe. Um, <laughs> Gotta plug, plug it in. <laughs> shameless plug. But like, yeah, what, what, I, what I mean to say is like, I'm, I've always, I'm the type of guy who likes, you know, just doing a lot of things. And, um, and, it's, it's it's a kind of, kind of I'm an extremist, an extremist in some aspects. I kind of do a lot of things or not, you know, just not do anything. <laughs> it's one of it's one or the, one or the other. So um, when you don't see me chat, it's either I'm busy or I'm not touching my phone at all and just probably just there. resting. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Legit though, uh, there was this one time where I just kind of shut off. And it's like, it's like no, no one can, talk, talk, no one talk. I, I didn't talk to anyone for like, I don't know, a week. And yeah. just like, didn't do anything and just gave myself like kind of a rest week. Cause like, actually really helped for my mental health and shit. Cause like, I've been, adulting hits hard. I don't know. Whoa, we can talk yeah. about that now. Yeah, we can talk about that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, cause before we, the last time I met you, seven years ago, how old am I? We're 18 and that's college age, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, college it's, age. Yeah, it's college. Yeah, back when I was there, college. it was like I was second year. College. Yeah. Oh, really? Are you second year or you, third year? I I'm you're probably a, third year. I'm a year older. I'm I'm a year. Ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm. I'm... <laughs> no, no. 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 Oh, so to clarify, he he's like one year um, advanced ahead than me, school? but we're yeah ahead of school for special yeah, yeah, reasons yeah. doesn't really imply anything so feel free to still guess <laughs> uh, even even though i had that super obvious reaction <laughs> yeah feel free to guess who was older <laughs> but yeah but yeah but yeah um back to the whole not actually responding right, right away i i personally felt like um every time you went here yeah i kind of just push all my energy for you, you on did. that specific time like you guys you know did, I yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like just okay. This this time for a week, LJ's here. It's just gonna be all about him, and just go back to our lives Aww. again. But he's, you know, that kind of thing, because he's such a special case, guys. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, okay, the cat's out of the bag. I'm the oldest, and like he's next to me, and like you have two other cousins, Chriselle and Kyle. Love those guys. Um, we're actually the four cousins that are near the same age, and then. Um, every time, every time LJ, LJ comes, comes here, here, the four of us would actually hang out together in this family house that we got. Wow, this is the first time really talking about this. I really, I'm really happy. 
um, this family mm-hmm. has to be got yeah, in. Uh, I won't say the location because that's weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have this family no, house okay. where all our parents grew up. They had six. There are six siblings, and like they all grew up there. And when LJ comes home, all of us sleep at that family house and hang out and uh, do really crazy stuff together. And of course, uh, tour LJ around wherever, <laughs> wherever we can. And, yeah. I, I, I even have let, yet to co- actually go there and let you tour me around. You know, I wish I, I wish I, I could get the chance. I, actually, I was thinking about it when yeah. back in 2019 because I, I was really traveling a lot. Like I went to Sigur, uh, I uh, went to Bantaya and Cebu everywhere. And like, okay, maybe we should go to Manila and Makati or something and visit LJ. But like, COVID, <laughs> well, COVID that, happened. <laughs> COVID happened. And like. Okay. okay, maybe postpone, maybe postpone that, that and stuff. And stuff. Well, like, but yeah, I mean, maybe soon, right? I, I hope it? very soon. I I have a lot of friends going there already, so I'm planning to maybe at the end of the year. I just have to save up some money because I, I bought a house and that shit's not. You did? Shit's, yeah, yeah, and I, this is not a flex, guys. No, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's, it's still it's in the works, but like it's not a flex, it's guys. It's more of just like it's actually it's more actually much more of a liability to me right now. Hey, <laughs> look, that sounds great. What? Wait, did you buy no, a no. house? Did you buy a plot of land then build the house? What is it like? Uh, condo? There's a ha- house like a lot house? combo. Yeah, yeah, oh, a house okay. a lot combo. At least when you come visit here, you could actually just sleep in my place now. <laughs> you actually have a crib to go to. But like, what I'm saying is that it's kind of a liability right now because I'm just paying for it at the moment and not living in it yet. So okay, it's kind of a it just it just push it pulls down all my money to this small amount which which I can spend. So yeah, that's why I can't. I haven't been traveling a lot other than COVID yet because I I did that. Yeah, I'm hoping to go there, and yeah, maybe you could and go to BGC because I really want to go and like just experience everything. Is it in BGC? No, 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 Here in Macau, here in Macau. But like when I when I do go there, when I do go there, I really want to go to BGC. Uh, that was a shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, you're very. <laughs> I, I actually do have a better Kanyo accent rather than a straight Tagalog accent. I swear to God. <laughs> I, I mean, but, I'm yeah. seeing it in the chat. <laughs> I thought you guys had like but, a, a thing, gayong mga cousins, because I know Kiselle wants to be in BGC. Am I right? She's actually, actually is she there? No, I'm not sure. No, think... no, it's not. It's kind of like not in BGC, but she can technically go in BGC. She wants to live in BGC. Kiselle, oh, if you're listening, I mean, correct most... us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot us a text, <laughs> text if like you, <laughs> you feel that hey, all this information wrong. is wrong, <laughs> and we don't actually want to disclose her location. So yeah, we won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, she wants to be at BGC. I mean, I guess it's uh, if you have the American dream, like I guess some uh, people from the provinces would would wanna if they're living in Manila would wanna stay at BGC probably rather than just anywhere else. I guess, it's really nice. Es- especially if you're somehow an influencer, correct me if I'm wrong, you'd probably want to be there, right? Because like the whole vibe and everywhere, place is great. I've, I haven't been there, so please. But you've seen Lord. pictures, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. There's like, there's no poles. I'm like, where where, where are the electric poles? Where, where, are, the, where are the lines? And where are they underground? And like, oh, shit. And everything's like aesthetic and like big roads. Like, what the Yeah, heck? yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm super excited, actually. I just need to save up some moolah and just go there and experience everything. I actually want to go all out, not not in clubs and stuff. I just want to, you know how, how anxious I've been because I haven't been traveling. Like, for the past pre-COVID years, I've been traveling, like, what, six or seven times a year and, like, felt great. But then immediately stopping that and just... You know, I, I feel I feel like every time I'm somewhere else, I just want to spend whatever I have and just do whatever. And like, yeah, I, I don't know if you feel the same way. Probably if you got out of, because uh, you're you're a budgetarian. You're a budgetarian. Is it a, is it a term? I thought the uh, no. Yes. Yeah, 
<laughs> we're smart spender. Let's call it let's call Kuripot smart spender or something. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah. a vegetarian. <laughs> if, if that's your term, <laughs> you're, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, that's great. I mean, especially in our age. I mean, if you wanna, what what's your what's your whole what's your whole vibe like? Uh, spend a lot and experience a lot in your twenties, then you know, so you won't regret anything in the future, or save up now and go all out in the future. There are two different spectrums, right? So, oh, what's so your we're gonna deal? go for spectrum. Oh, uh, maybe not totally extreme to the part of the saving part, but I'm slowly approaching to like spend because uh, recently I've been like, okay, I want to go out because just last time we went to like an Airbnb to like, um, I don't know what it's called. It's next snacks, snacks ladders in Quezon. So it's basically an Airbnb with the, like whole, a lot of car, game boards and shit. And, it, and yeah. traveling there felt really great. Like a, a break from the stress, you know, I kind of feel what the adrenaline that you've been telling me about, like yeah. going to places like just not coop out in here, but yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah. of the, the, I know, um, save but occasionally i would splurge so like you know <laughs> para hindi ko na pandamalayan i already spent like a lot <laughs> for things yeah 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 i mean you're approaching that spectrum i don't know if i'm using the right word but like for the lack of better better version yeah. that spe- spectrum where you just want to enjoy basically yeah what, what how, I mean, how was it how was the how was the airbnb what what did you guys do like well, I, uh, basically, we just uh, caught up, you know, catch up with my university friends. What happened is, like, a friend of mine was already moving to change to, like, another job. So, they were the one who had, like, a birthday party. So, they spe- they were the one who spent for the, the place. And we're the one who spent yeah. for the money and the booze. <laughs> so, we drank <laughs> there, play games, play games like Just Dance. Like, apparently, I'm the only person there who was, quote, unquote, a bit in shape, a bit lang naman. I can kind of do a few choreos that are on hard mode. The rest are like, oh shit, my back hurts and stuff. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. I really had fun. Uh, we just went there and yeah, the aesthetics are nice. And just the fact that you're, you're just going to leave there. I mean, of course, you still need to clean, but the fact that you yeah, have yeah, a nice yeah. place like for a while, very, um, to those who experienced it, very retreat, very outbound, very going to be with your friends for a while and then go back again. <laughs> so it was really a nice an experience. The, the, the best thing about that probably is um, it, it makes you want to do it more. And because you spend a lot, it kind of actually makes you want to work harder as well. So you could have money to spend, you know, it's, it's such a balance between working hard and getting what you want technically. Cause like, do you want to add something? I, I feel like you want to say something. <laughs> no, I, I remember one of our cousins actually, or one of our titas were telling about it. Uh, remember uh, no, our cousin, Ella. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> Ella? Remember Ella? Ella. Do we have a cousin? Yeah. Ah, me. okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Ella. <laughs> Tito Mini. <laughs> Tito Mini. <laughs> no, no, so you, basically... have to, you have to. No, you have to put. Con- I've never actually. Ooh, fun fact. Were... Never actually met Ella. Never actually met Ella yet. You really? As... Haven't? Yeah. Oh, you, you just posted thanks for the ad. I do remember that part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, but I haven't to... met her. You haven't met? Yeah. I met Tito Mini, of course. Well, like. Ella, not yet. Probably because she's in another whole whole ass country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you were here for a while. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah, my that's problem. My problem. I, I actually yeah. take fault for that because yeah, I'm always busy and I try yeah. to keep myself busy. And it's not that I don't want to hang with them. It's just because I already had something scheduled. <laughs> yeah, so you can't like yeah, yeah. squeeze something run, like random yeah, yeah. stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's me right now, especially. But yeah, go on, go yeah, on. Go what did on, you want to say? On. Sorry. Okay, so basically, uh, Tita Mini was telling me that our cousin Ella has been through a lot of places, especially during, you know, COVID. <laughs> but of uh, course, the places that are allowed to be traveled. Yeah, are to. allowed. Yeah, yeah, allowed to, allowed to, allowed to. Of course, but when everything's like okay, you know. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So we're still, we're still within safety, of course, of course, of course. Uh, so <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, good, but I want to point out, 
is that uh, Tita Wida would always tell me that she would take a lot of jobs, save a lot of money, and then spend to go to these places. Like pre-COVID, sorry, I was wrong. My timeline is yeah, yeah. Uh, Pre-COVID, so parang minsan magulat na lang pala ako that she was here pala in BGC. Then later, she would be like in another country. Then later, she would be like in Switzerland. Like in different places, really. And just, just like earn money. She's really hip, by the way, I think. From what she, I know. Yeah, I know. She yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised that but, she was able to garner that before COVID. Like, wow. <laughs> she could go to play. Like, okay. <laughs> At least she was able to go to places before you know, everything got locked down. Like, good know. for her. And good for her. And like, I mean, we still have time, man. <laughs> we're, oh. we're young and spry. <laughs> we're well. young and spry. <laughs> Already. Oh man, Are... speak for yourself. I'm already 25. I bet you haven't turned 25 yet. So, <laughs> God. <laughs> well, my coworkers would always point out, though. They were like, um, ti ano ka na? Uh, 25 ka na? I'm like, no. But you're, uh... but you're born at this. No. <laughs> Basically, there's like a lot of uh, younger, younger office mates that are coming in and you're like pointing out how old I am and like, oh. <laughs> It was like yesterday. I was young and I was just doing easy shit. <laughs> you remember? You remember when you remember you, were you were the young one? The young one. <laughs> no, I was never the young one. Hello. Really? Really? No, in the I... four of us. No, no. What I mean is like. Was... What? No, no. In the office. In the office. In the office. Ah, uh, I thought the cousin. Uh, no, 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 no. In the office. Because I, I, I started work at nineteen. Basically, diba, I, I'm advanced, right? In school. That doesn't, that sounded like a flex, but no. <laughs> I just started school early, so that's why I kind of graduated early and I started working at 19. So I I always felt like the youngest person in the office, of course, because I started working at 19. And then, yeah, yeah, every time I, I shifted to another workplace, my current workplace, I st- uh, worked there when I, I started work there when I was like 21. I think so. Still technically pretty young, right? So I, I just felt like, ah, oh, he's the young guy, you know? Hey, young guy. <laughs> now, I, now I worked from home, went back to the office recently, and like people are calling me Mano. Like, what? <laughs> what, what, hap- what happened? <laughs> You're not used to us calling you Mano. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I'm used to you guys, but like, just in general, in the office, like, I, I'm just so used to like having coworkers that are 30 plus, and like, of course, I feel so young, and they're teaching me a lot of things. And now I'm in the office talking to these young guys, and they're like, "Oh, so what are your experiences?" Is it? And I like, and I actually felt pastoral in a sense, like talking to them, you got to do this and you got to do that so you could achieve this. Like, oh man, I'm old. I feel old. <laughs> why? Why am I imparting knowledge right now? You know, <laughs> like, I used to be that guy who's just like doe-eyed and like, oh really? That's what you do? And now, and now I'm the one like, yeah, to 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 achieve what you want to do in life, you gotta be this guy. You gotta work hard. And... Like sensei, or... <laughs> go for it. Uh, and I'm just like, oh god, man, I feel. I hear these pity compliments after. Oh, you don't look old yet. You know, like. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, th- shout out to shout Pons, out Pons if I do I not know. look old yet. Shout out to Pons. <laughs> Love you guys. Sponsor me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I kind of feel that right now. And I bet, that's why I'm actually having fun talking to you because like, technically we're kind of months apart. So we have much more of a um, a connection in that sense. And I'm so excited yeah. for you to... For us to for meet, us to meet, it's either here or there, here or there that we could actually, we could actually hang out as adults out as now, adults rather than rather back than when we were teenagers. What the yeah. heck, man? Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> we haven't hung out in our 20s yet. More of like yeah. a teen. Right? And we had like money now. I mean, we wouldn't like Tita or ano, Dad. Can we have right. like, ano, allowance to go to? Ano? <laughs> uh, it's, actually, it's actually such a refreshing feeling. I... Uh, uh, me and Chriselle uh, and Kyle would hang out here sometimes, like in a few rare moments. And we all have, of course, guys, sound of flex is just what it is. We all have money and all of us have cars and it's not so hard to meet up now. Because like my house is legit so far away from theirs. If you know, uh, I guess, you know, because like you've been here, but, like compared to the distance between their houses, 
my house is technically too far away from there, so I really have to travel if I wanted to meet with them. But like now that we all have cars and uh, the money is okay, <laughs> it, it, it's a, it's so much more fun. I guess the no restrictions thing and like before we had to a- ask permission. Hey, can I sleep over at my cousin's house? Cause like you know we we just hung out hung out for like uh, in in a whole. In a, in a long time, we haven't hung out, so maybe I could sleep over, Dad. Now I'm just like, Dad, and I'm not going to go home today. <laughs> I know. I was going to do probably, that probably see, you, probably see you in a week, man. <laughs> it's, it's that now. It, it's so much fun hanging out, hanging out as adults and, like, talking about how we were in the old days. Yeah, the old days. <laughs> just remember the, the way we slattered those, what do you call that, sunblock? Oh, but Chris would penalize me oh, if I would take it, if I find that picture. <laughs> yeah, I, I I've seen that picture. Like it's just really? everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I've, Where I, is I, it? I, I yeah. Do you have a copy? I'll I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, it just had some block everywhere. It doesn't help that we were brown as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I remember it. such such good times. So, like. Um, I, I recommend everyone who's listening that if you still keep in touch with their cousins, go hang out there. You're literally going to have so much fun because, uh, I think we've, we've been so used to hanging out with our friends so much. You know, those, I, I bet you have friends that you treat like family already, right? Like literally just think that the, uh, these, these guys are my, if you watch friends, the series, like they're literally those guys where. If you're you're far from your family, you have Thanksgiving together and like have birthdays together. It's yeah, just kind of yeah. like that now. And like uh-huh. you kind you kind of sorry for this, but like you, you kind of drift apart with your with your cousins too. The people you hung out with were when you were like young and like uh, of course it's much easier to hang out because like you're literally blood related and there's no problem. So yeah, if you hang out with your cousins now, you're probably gonna see a different side of them. Compared to ask what you've seen when you were little babies and or teenagers, you know. So yeah, this is fun. Imagine what me and LJ are talking right now. So many topics and just. <laughs> and how many minutes now? <laughs> it's, it's it's been forty seven minutes at this moment. And we've talked about so much already. <laughs> Man, I miss I miss you, dude. I, to be honest, I really do. I really do. It's been it's been so long. Yeah, I did too. I remember the times that we. I remember the the times that we had to break the ice when I would just first time I would arrive there. Remember, I mean, it was like the four of us, and then we we have to find like a common ground to like grab on because we yeah. were like the, the things that we experience, like what I experience in Makati is still different from you guys, right? And then we'll find yeah, like, yeah. oh, Pokemon Crater, Pokemon Deluge. You guys played that yeah, also, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. And then we talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I know this is gonna put you on the spot, but like, who was okay. the first? Who who are you closest to when you come here? Like, just just who would talk to you first and like actually make a connection? Because I know I know the breaking of the ice part. It's so hard. Because like, uh, you come here like what once or two times a year, and then of course that's uh in a span of like what six months or seven months. And I haven't talked to you again. So like, uh, in the spot. Well, actually, it depends. In my experience, it really depends. But it was mostly you. But there was times that it was Kyle. Because the, uh, Kyle uh, would be the one who would be, I know, so Tito Edmond would actually fetch me and my dad. So, I yeah, yeah. was up first. So, we would, like, catch up in the times. Yeah. But it's usually you. <laughs> then the four of us were like, oh, hey, guys, I'm going to talk about stuff. <laughs> 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 no, no, because... I I actually want to talk about this because like I, before I don't know if you knew I kind of had social anxiety in a way. You do? Uh, you don't you don't notice? No. But like <laughs> I, I I really have a hard time. This maybe because I just kept it to myself. I I was really pushing it a lot in terms of like uh, do I, I I had this alter ego where I just kind of had to talk a lot to kind of suppress that you know. Um, Side of me where I just didn't know what to say, or like, am I awkward? Am I, like, I overthink in that mm-hmm. sense where uh, did I do a good job talking to him, or oh, he's quiet. Am I doing something wrong? You know that kind of mindset in a way. No, really. So like, 
Yeah, I can totally relate. I, That's me <laughs> before college. <laughs> <laughs> and look at us now. <laughs> I mean, look at I me. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I actually, be- I grew to become like such a social butterfly these days because of like that whole alter ego thing that I've done where I just really push myself to talk, 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 whatever comes to mind. Don't freaking care if it's awkward or if it's weird or if it's <laughs> real. You just kind of got to play it off. And now I kind of feel so much better, especially, I, I guess I kind of want to, I kind of want to give you, I'm grateful for you always coming back to Bacala because like it gives me a chance to become some kind of a host in a way. Because okay. you remember I don't have, no, not, not the host in a party. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I thought you were going to say something, something else. Okay, age, host. Just, just, just being hospitable. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Bloody hell, man. Come on. <laughs> just um <laughs> just uh just becoming more hospitable because I don't have a lot of friends from the outside, right? Aside from this city. So you 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 are the only one that I ki- I think that would be a kind of a test subject for me to well am I am I a good host? Or like I, I would I, I I wish he had fun. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. I, I I always thought that like I had to be that guy, especially that I'm the oldest between all of you guys. I uh-huh. probably think that I I had I had the most. I put a lot of responsibility on myself to actually become the one who actually interacts. Like tell the other cousins, hey, you gotta talk to LJ because like he just comes here like once or twice every year. Y'all gotta talk and like bond and stuff. Not not necessarily that's what I suppose what I'm supposed to do, but I just kind of put that in myself. So you know, this is the first uh, I've heard, though. I know, like, I know, I know. And they had this it, like you were like being just very kuya, you know, very manong. You did that also with ano diba? Kala in the eh. ah, I forgot the youngest, creamy. Remember? Yeah, yeah like, I, I thought this like your general thing. I didn't know about the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, it, it, it's, it's part of it, but like a big part of it was just me trying to. Am I doing this shit right? Am I doing this shit right? You know. <laughs> Because, <laughs> but but you coming back every time, making me feel making me feel that I've done a good job. It just makes me feel better now that I'm having. Now I have a lot of friends from the outside. Because like, in a way, from people from here who go to other places, then come back after a few years. I kind of feel like they they tell me, "Hey, I'm here," and like, "Oh, I got," <laughs> you know, I, I get to host again in a way because they're gonna go back to Manila again or Cebu or somewhere. So it makes me feel good that I kind of practiced on you. No offense, but you had a great time, right? Right. I, I, <laughs> no, 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 no cap. Yeah, I, I did have a great time. It's just kind of weird saying practice on me. <laughs> well, because that's what cousins are for. I bet. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! oh before we can. Before we continue, I just have to shout out our show partner because this podcast wouldn't be alive without them. So today is a great day to start your own podcast, whether you're looking for a new marketing channel, have a message you want to share with the world, or just think it would be fun to have your own talk show. Podcasting is an easy, inexpensive, and fun way to expand your reach online. Buzzsprout is hands down the easiest and best way to launch, promote, and track your podcast. Your show can be online and listed in all the major podcast directories like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more within within minutes of finishing your recording. Sorry, the dogs are so loud. Along with, other, along with over 100,000 podcasters, our team here at THD also uses this platform. Following the link in the show notes will let Buzzsprout know we sent you, and it gets you a $20 Amazon gift card if you sign up for a paid plan and help support our show. So yeah, sh- thank you. Thank you so much, Buzzsprout, for making this possible. And yeah, we're back. <laughs> we only have a few minutes left. Um, we do. <laughs> yeah, LJ are gonna ca- <laughs> we're going to do a part two, probably. I, I always say this after every podcast, probably because all the guests I have are so good and we have so much to talk about. But like we just ran out, run out of time. You know, I, I, I kind of want to keep this to an hour so people won't get too bored. But yeah. Uh, last question before we kind of end the show. And we're okay. going to have a part two soon, so <laughs> save all of that <laughs> and put it, put it on the next one. Um, oh, by the way, guys, if you're wondering why Sophie's not here, uh, she went on vacation, and I'm super jealous. Uh, if, Sophie, if you're listening to this, <laughs> hope you take care and come back soon so we can do the podcast together and you can meet LJ. <laughs> you're going to have a great time talking to him, too. 
Um, the question is, what's the best advice you can leave for our listeners that are in their 20s? We ask this to every guest we have because like, I know everyone gives different answers. Anything that you can think of, just impart knowledge to us in a way. What From your experience, what what's the best thing you can leave our listeners to you know ponder upon or learn from you that you know they could use in their 20 they can apply in their lives as 20 year olds 20 up 20 up (laughs) okay 20 up so uh i hope it makes sense what i'm about to say (laughs) okay so basically um Around in your 20s, uh, I want you guys to learn about what is the formula in life that works for you. Um, because that's, that's something that will actually help you out in many of your decisions. In my case, uh, what, the formula that I've had is something that my dad has passed on to me when back in engineering. And that is when you, when you know how to dance, you know how to get by in engineering. And that's something you can apply to life. And when it comes to dancing, actually... Uh, it's the the main aspect about dancing is actually practicing. Okay, so um, trial and error. Uh, they're in my uh, so I'm a former folk dancer. If you're gonna wonder why, what is the pose that Panam Tam Tam is using? <laughs> so there's like three stages in you know, in dances in in folk dance. In my case, that's my experiences. Yes. So there's like. Um, Am I remembering it? Okay. So there's like memorization, characterization, and internalization. I use, also use this when every time I'm in interviews, like, okay, tell me about yourself. I'm going to sell myself with those three things because literally, what is nice. my orgs related <laughs> to IT? It's like dance, diva. It's art. It's not even science. So that's what I always tell, tell them. So three stages in, uh, in dance, at least in my case. Memorization. Uh, what are the dance steps that you have to memorize? It doesn't have to be, to be uh, polished yet. Uh, in the life, in the workplace, you have to memorize what are the steps, what are the policies, what are the things that you have to know, diba? Next would be yeah. um, characterization. What are the right attitude that you have to apply um, in your workplace, in life? So how do you tackle this uh, trials and tribulation? In my case, what are the characteristics that I have to portray in the dance? Because in folk dance, there are like different disciplines. Like there's a Spanish influence. There's also in... Um, I forgot the place. Cordillera, so the yung mga yeah, yeah, There's yeah. also rural, yeah, yeah. so very festive. And then there's also yeah. uh, mag, ano, um, gin, uh, Muslim dances. So there's like different uh, disciplines. So you have to characterize that in the concept of workplace. Nga, diba? You have to characterize how to be professional. How do you deal with these clients? And last would be um, internalization. So once you already memorize, you know, the characteristic, that's when you polish uh, that's how you uh, how do you, you just keep repeating do trials and uh, trials and trials and error because sometimes a choreo tends to change right? you don't always just perform yes, yes. the same choreo every time similar to the work in the workplace you don't just do the same kind of job there will be other things that for example difficult, difficult clients deadlines so you have to uh, right, cover your yeah. foundation with uh, what you already know about memorizing what are the best practices while well, it's the right attitude, then you can tweak it a bit and change the choreo itself. So that's about internalization. And just goes back and forth. That's my uh, formula in life of how I tackle things, how I survive the workplace uh, where I am right now. <laughs> if that's uh, any advice you could give, right? <laughs> find the formula so, in life. <laughs> find your formula. And for LJ, your formula is, can you repeat the, th- repeat the three, three things? Okay. Uh, for, for... In- internalization. Uh, oh, memorization. Right? Memorization. <laughs> memorization first, yeah. Memorization, inter- characterization. Memorization, and... And then internalization. Internalization. Okay, yeah. that's his formula. So his advice is you guys got to find your own formula that, wow, that's really great. I actually need to find my own formula too. Wow, that's really great. I know, I know. I'm so proud of you. No, I'm as, as a manong. <laughs> I, I, just, I, just, <laughs> I just got... I just got that feeling... Uh, that that feeling that oh, wow, my cousin is so smart. <laughs> I'm like, what do, what am I doing in my life? <laughs> no, no, I'm so proud of you. That's actually really great advice, and everyone can really apply it in their life. A formula, okay, guys. Everyone who's listening, find your own formula. That's from, coming from LJ. And can I ask a, fo- a follow up question? Sure. What do you think of people in Bacolod, like just in general, even if you're just basing it from us, like? How do you how do you perceive us? Like, are we funny? Are we jolly? Or are we just plain weird? <laughs> um, no, 
well, not really weird, I'd say, in centric because, you know, different cultures. But the, if, the, if there's one thing that I've noticed from, coming from Makati versus there, is that you yeah. guys are, like, very definitely sweet, very, you uh, know, nice people. Even when you guys are getting mad, you still have this, <laughs> this tone, like, parang, ano. Uh, ano ah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've heard like, that. Okay, you yeah, want me to like, demonstrate? <laughs> sure, go ahead. I think Tito Didi would always say that. Nga, eh, that I think it was Tito Didi. No, man, kamu yung man nga, per me. Kamu yung binuang that sa guao. That actually doesn't sound bad at all. I, I kind of... <laughs> <It doesn't. laughs> Maybe I'm just being exaggerating. I'm exaggerating a bit. But like, yeah, yeah. I, I've heard people say that. Um, um, even from friends friend that, that go to Manila, they're, they're like, like, why don't you guys, guys sound mad at all when you're mad? Just like, we don't, we don't feel threatened at all by you guys. You know? <laughs> yeah. Wow, 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 wow. I'm actually really happy. Well, that, wow. <laughs> I, I, I have no words in terms of just like how you, how you tackle that whole advice thing for the 20 year olds. It's a great, it's a great thing to already figure out your formula in life and actually apply it in the real world. And great for interviews too. Really for interviews. <laughs> yeah. It got me my job, but maybe it would work for you. <laughs> right, 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 right. Wow. Okay, okay. Uh, that was LJ. Thank you so much for coming to the podcast. And like, if you want to plug your socials, you can. It's... No. I won't. No, you don't want to plug? It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. private. People are low key nowadays. People are low key nowadays, and I respect that. So thank you so much, guys, for watching and listening. Again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and like the page. If you can see the link in the description, please go ahead and click it. There are tons of discounts and surprises there that you might like. We are The How Diaries on Spotify. Look for How PH on Facebook and on YouTube. To get more intimate with us, you can follow us on Instagram at H-O-W-P-H and S-F-Q-Z-N-12. That's How PH and Sophia's Instagram. Send us a DM if you have a topic suggestion we might talk about in we may talk about it on the next one. Man, I'm so tired. <laughs> Thank you and have an awesome day, guys. Peace. Thank you so much, Jay. I'll see you next time here. Part two, part two, part two. Bye. Bye. Okay, I stopped recording. Uh